An innovative floating lab is now helping young students become climate ready by understanding the marine life in San Francisco Bay. And as ABC 7 News reporter Gloria Rodriguez found out, the journey starts when they hit the water. We're going to get ready to go sailing. Let's rock and roll. Dozens of young students are about to climb aboard for a day of sailing and to learn about the marine creatures that inhabit San Francisco Bay. The program is run by the Treasure Island Sailing Center. It takes kids often from inner city neighborhoods onto the water in small sailboats with longtime instructors like Chris Childers and Justine O'Connor. And I'm just a big fan of the program. I've sailed my whole life. All right, who's excited? Me! While the voyage will circle the cove at Treasure Island, there's a new addition to the trip, a white dome that looks something like a floating sea turtle. It's a creation of Margaret Iketa and Evan Jones, along with their team at the California College of the Arts. We first profiled the lab several years ago. That's when it was anchored near the Port of Oakland, helping college students and faculty researchers test climate-resilient, bio-friendly architectural designs. Recently, Jones and Iketa moved the platform to Treasure Island, where it will be now accessible to younger students. We haven't ever had this chance to be able to be around kids this age and engage them with the float labs with questions about uh, things that grow on it, uh, about questions as they're older about buoyancy. It's just been pretty amazing. Do you guys want to check out the really cool um, project that they have in the water? Measuring how sea growth on the bottom of that can change the biodiversity and actually help mitigate some of the climate change impacts. And after sharing an encounter with some local harbor seals, the group is ready to head dockside for a closer look at some other sea creatures the floating lab is designed to study. And we give the native oysters a little bit of substrate. Instructors have several platforms placed in the bay to attract sea creatures. And for the students, it's a chance to discover on their own, lying on their tummies on the dock. I found crabbing! or pouring through illustrations in a classroom setting. I saw, like, I think it was like this one. At the end of the day, it's a melding of education, adventure, and a dose of citizen science, training a new generation to be climate ready by better understanding the environment around them. At Treasure Island, Gloria Rodriguez, ABC 7 News.